Mr. Byron. I'm just a loyal historian. When you're a twin, Yikes. it's almost like you've had a tag team partner your whole life. Bree brings a tremendous set of skills to this pairing. This should be good. She went through a period of just trying to fit in. Trying to be another pretty face in the locker room. And when you try to be just another of something, you'll just be a nothing to everybody. That's why Sasha had to dig out her true persona. She had to find her inner boss. Hurricane Rana! Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. Well, Corey, that inner boss we speak about with Sasha is a great example for showing how women can break out of their shell and claim ownership to any goal they set their heart to. Banks is a legit boss and a legit role model. Look, I don't know if I'll go that far, Byron. I respect what Sasha's created for herself, but I don't think I want to see waves of women dyeing their hair purple and wearing ludicrous glasses everywhere. You look good with purple hair. I know. And the DDT! Watching Nikki Bella out there, I can't help but think of all the different lives she's had. Reality TV star, actress, businesswoman, and one of the most recognizable faces in WWE. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Byron mentioned Nikki Bella's many lies, but the one that matters most is the one that brought Nikki a record-setting reign as women's champion. Yeah, that championship reign began with a little help from her sister, and it didn't end until she held the title for 301 days. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. When I think of memorable moments in Nikki Bella's career, I think of WrestleMania 33, when she and John Cena got a chance to take on The Miz and Maurice in a mixed tag team match long in the making. WrestleMania mixed tag team match reminds me of how Miz and Maurice mocked and parodied Nikki Bella and John Cena for weeks. <laughs> Another wonderful display of the Miz's acting prowess. One day, Miz and Maurice will delight their beautiful baby Monroe Sky by showing her the night mom and dad shared the ring in perfect Six. harmony. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Look at this. Oh, nasty impact. Sasha Banks not looking good here. But this one appears far from over, and she knows that. It's been an amazing match up to this point, guys. And from where I sit, any one of these women can win this thing. Harsh impact. The boss is giving some serious orders right now. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. But she gets in attack mode. Ouch. Look out. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. 
If a team can win the first ball, that sets the tone for the rest of the match, and your opponents are playing catch-up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after he's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. You gotta believe this one's over. Taking off her feet now. And you're not gonna win many matches down there. I can tell you that. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner. And Tamina was in Natalia and Carmella's corner. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. In the corner is not a good spot to be. I think only a group is treacherous. Oh, my gosh. That should do it. How is brief? She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Bailey has her in her sights. Oh, here it comes. Man, she knows how to make it. She goes for the cover. The pen's broken up. When Bailey finally made it to her first WrestleMania in Orlando, her reality outdid her dreams. Walking in as the Raw Women's Champion, the Huggable One had a boss, a queen, and an irresistible force to overcome. Rewinding back to Bailey's WrestleMania debut, you can't underscore what winning that match against Sasha Banks. Big move, power buster. That might just be the final nail in the looking for all the glory here. One, two, three. Now that's an impressive tag team victory.